concealer is I swear I live in the noisiest neighborhood of my life hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i'm filming something really exciting and i can't wait to film it for you let me just say right now it is extremely hot outside i am so hot but i've had to close my window because it's so noisy outside and i've had to turn my fan off because otherwise it will blow my sheet behind and it will be really loud so i'm going to try and whiz through this video but also try not to sweat because i'm so hot that's why i'm in this little t-shirt um, it makes my shoulders look absolutely massive, but it's kind of where we're at. So, for today's video, I am going to be filming Instagram followers chooses my makeup for the day. Instagram followers decides my makeup. Instagram followers chooses my makeup today. Chooses my makeup today. Instagram followers chooses my makeup. I asked a bunch of people on Instagram to pick some makeup products, and I've got them all laid out here. I've also got my hair bands. I may need to just whack my hair up. Let me do that now because I'm so hot. This is the thing. You put your hair up. It's awful you put your hair up and you some in your head you have like a vision that you're going to put your hair up and it's going to look messy but nice messy and it never does like what is this i asked my instagram followers to choose my makeup for the day so let's get started and let's start with primer also i will leave everyone's instagram handles that decided on my makeup for this video come up on the screen so you guys can see who chose what. First of all, I asked Victoria to choose a primer and she chose the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This primer is incredible. It smells insane. It reminds me of Terry's Chocolate Orange. I feel like everything smells like that. It's very hydrating, which is good because I have very, very dry skin and this primer is incredible. So let's put on the primer. I actually do really love this primer. Um, I use it quite a lot. Just put the primer on. A little bit does go a long way and it spreads across the face really nicely, which is good. So primer is on and I'm feeling a bit tacky. Now let's move on to foundation. And I asked my friend Sammy to decide what foundation I should use and she chose the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Two in one, foundation and concealer. This foundation is insane, it's so good. The coverage is incredible. It is kind of like a dewy finish, but it's quite thick. So it's actually kind of like the worst foundation that I could possibly wear for this kind of weather. But we didn't know what the weather was going to be like. And it's not a problem. So let's put this foundation on. Oh. Fun fact, guys. I used to work at Clinique um, towards the end of last year. This shade is actually a tiny bit darker for me. However, I find that when I buff and blend out the foundation, the colour does sheer out a little bit. And I'm just going to use my Real Techniques brush. Now let's move on to concealer. For concealer, I asked my friend Angelica to decide on a concealer and she decided she wanted to go with the Revolution Pro Full Camouflage Concealer. I've said this so many times, this concealer is incredible and if you don't own this concealer, you need to. It's so good, so full coverage. It lasts for the longest time. So let's go with a bit of concealer. You literally need the tiniest bit. That is probably too much. You know what, I don't think, I think I need that to cover my whole face. Concealer done. As you can see, it brightens up the face nicely. Let's move on to powder. The powder I asked Jennifer. She wanted me to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is what I'm going to be using. So let's put on some powder. And obviously, because it is really hot outside and I am quite dry skinned, um, I don't really like to put on a lot. I don't really like to bake. Or anything like that because my skin is so dry and it would just be so crepey. So, translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier. It's on my face. Now, let's move on to brows. So, for brows, I didn't actually ask anyone to choose a brow product because at the moment I'm currently just using one thing. So, I didn't really think there was any point. I'm just using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, one of the shades and a MAC 266 brush. I'm going to go and do my eyebrows now and then I will come back and continue with everything else. Brows are done. And now we're going to move on to... 
bronzer. And I asked Katrina, she chose my bronzer and she chose Hoola by Benefit. This is such a classic. I've been using this for years. This bronzer is one of my go-to bronzers. So let's add a bit of bronzer. Also going to go in with my Real Techniques blush brush. This brush is incredible. So let's just bronze up the face and get a bit more color, shall we? And voila, bronzer is done, baby. So now let's move on to blush. I asked Amber, what blush should I use today? You tell me, girl, you let me know and I will go with the blush you want me to use. And she decided on the NARS blush. This is the Multiple Orgasm. It's a um, cream blush, but it turns into like a powder when you put it on. So let's put this blush on my face, honey. buff it all away such a pretty color it's so nice um but yeah so blush is done now let's move on to hmm what should we move on to let's move on to eyes oh eyes i asked millie what eyeshadow palette i should use the jacqueline hill x morphe volume 2 palette and i even asked her for specific shades that she wanted me to use so this eye look really is going to be everything that she decided what colors are we going to be using let me show you please don't judge me on the messy palette it gets worse but don't judge me um, i'm in it talia perfectionist get ready with me and the shade flawed and awed this is so interesting because there's only one matte and four shimmers so let's create an eye look with these five colors and let's see what we can come up with eyeshadow when i need to get it off i literally just wipe up my arm so for anyone on here that follows me on instagram and sees me do my creative cool looks you can only imagine what my legs and arms look like after and how many anti-back wipes it takes me to wipe it all off. Let's go in with the shade Perfectionist and I'm just going to take a big old Morphe fluffy brush and I'm just going to work that all over my eye. God, I look naked. I'm not naked. I have a top on. I have a top on, guys. I'm not naked. Let me put up a bit. So there's a little bit of fallout on my face. I'm just going to wipe that away. I literally have a choice between one, two, three, four four shimmers we've got i'm in it talia flawed and awed and get ready with me so i think i'm going to so i'm going to grab my p louise eye base and i'm going to just use a tapered brush and i'm just going to cut my lid I'm going to go in with this shade right here called um talia and i'm just going to place that in my inner half of my eye so like my inner corner here and here This colour is so gold. Um, and also, I'm just going to, going to take a flat brush and go in with the same colour and just try to clean it up a little. I've just placed the gold shade on my lids and this shade is actually popping. Like, it actually looks so gold and I love this shade so much. So, that is Talia placed down. I'm now going to go in with this shade right here called Flawed and Odd and I'm just going to put that on my outer corner of my eye where I just put down my cut crease. And then I'm just going to blend the gold and the orangey shade together. And when I get to the end of my eye here, I'm just kind of going to do like a little wing to make it look like a bit of a liner. Um, so just kind of give it a point. Then I'm just going to go back in with the first shade called Talia and just kind of mesh the two shades together. Just so there isn't any harsh lines. Oh, I kind of love it. it. Looks like a trophy. Two more shades to work with. And they are the shades Get Ready With Me and I'm In It. And I'm just going to actually put perfectionist and get ready with me under my lower lash line using a morphe pencil brush i'm in it which is a is a white shimmer with a pink shift so i'm just going to put that in my inner corner under my brow bone and we will be rocking oh oh my god did you see that that literally just flew there. Ooh. To the shade I'm in it, I'm just taking a flat Morphe brush and I'm going to place that in the inner corners of my eyes and under my brow bone. 
So I asked Antonia to choose a mascara and she chose the Lola Volume Mascara. So that is what I'm going to put on my eyes right now, right now. can definitely tell that I'm coming to the end of this mascara because it's super clumpy and it's coming out really thick. Right now, let's get on to highlight up my favorite part of a makeup look i asked kelly to choose between two highlighter palettes jeffree star platinum ice and jeffree star brain freeze palette and she chose the jeffree star brain freeze palette and specifically the shade gold breaker which is this shade right here go in to take my trusty highlighter brush from morphe and go into the shade gold breaker we are then just going to highlight our whole whole entire face so here 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 highlight to the absolute gods if you haven't used any of the jeffree star highlighters then are you even okay his highlighters are bomb they are so 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 good i love them lipstick and i asked my friend louise to choose a lipstick and she chose the makeup revolution lip gloss now i don't actually know the shade of this lip gloss because it came in a massive set full of makeup revolution products and these don't have a name on it do you know how stressed this makes me feel putting this on with our lip liner? Barbie pink. This is Barbie pink, people. Neighbor, do you hear me, neighbor? This is Barbie pink. Yeah, Barbie pink on my lips. Really? Yeah, I know, right? I'm not sure if it goes with this look at all. I'm not going to lie, but it is where we are at and i do feel like it ties in a little bit with the pink in the inner corners so i'm kind of living for it in a weird kind of way okay on to the last step which is setting spray baby and i asked shakira to choose a setting spray and she chose the iconic london prep set glow illuminating facial spritz this stuff is insane if you want a dewy makeup look as you guys know if you haven't seen my dewy makeup in 10 minutes makeup video then you need to i will leave it in the cards right above here or here not really sure it will be up here somewhere if you want to transform your face into a glowing dewy goddess honey but this iconic london um setting spray is bomb okay this is a look for sure i feel like i look like i'm on holiday and this lipstick just i never wear this shade lipstick because it's so barbie pink and i do think sometimes it can come across a little bit tacky just my personal opinion yeah we have finished the look for today what do you guys think please let me know in the comments down below do you like the look do you think it all ties in nicely or are you a bit like Honey, those lips do not go with that eye makeup. No way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I also just really quickly wanted to say thank you to everyone who chose the makeup products for today's look. And I'm so sorry if I have um, mispronounced any of your guys' names. Don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'm very friendly. Don't know why I did that in, but I am. I will see you in the next one.